Jeremy Tracy here of Tracy Crokinole Boards coming back at you with another drill slash challenge that you can do to work on your incredible crokinole skills. The last one we did was called the far side because we took the buttons and we placed them on the far side of the pegs. Now I know what you may be thinking, come on Jeremy, your names are a little bit lame and I have to say you're absolutely right because this drill, although similar to last time, is different and we're going to call this one the near side because you're probably catching on here, you're going to take the buttons, the eight opponent's buttons and set them on the near side of the pegs to yourself. If you have suggestions to how we can better name these drills, please put that in the comments below. And also, if you're sitting here going, what are you talking about past challenges? We will put links below to those past drills that we have done. We've done the inside out, we've done the eight point star, and then as I mentioned, the far side. So this one, as always, the objective is to knock the opponent's buttons off and give yourself the highest score possible. So just like I said with the last one, with the far side, it gets a little chaotic because everything is different. This one is the same that way, but it is different in how it's going to cause you problems. As you look at this, you'll see that you've got two, two buttons jammed up posted as they say tight against those pegs that are going to be very difficult to get out and you can look at that as a challenge or as an opportunity if you'll remember we've done a drill um, called the rebound the bounce back so maybe we'll uh, maybe there'll be an opportunity for you to work on that skill so again you take your eight buttons you shoot them trying to knock the yellows off and put yourself into the 20s the highest point and um, yeah, to see how well you can do. You can challenge friends, challenge yourself, do this multiple times and try to build on that score and see if you can keep getting better at it. This is something that will tide you over until the next time you're able to sit across from a person and whoop their butt directly. So I'm gonna have a go at this, uh, probably do it once as I'm talking you through it and explaining my thinking, and then I'll do it again where it's just me focused on the drill and we'll see how the scores go. So as always, you can do this in any order that you want. So I'm gonna start with these ones on the near side and see if I can get myself a nice old Rick O'Shea 20. Come up a little short, but that's okay. That jammed on me a little. I'm not really sure if I've taken the best strategy here. Um, may take a, a few practices at this to decide the best order of operations. There's a 20 that will count at the end. That was touching the line, so it goes off. Ah, just like in regular crokinole, you are allowed to go through your own, but if you touch your own and you don't hit an opponent's, you're gonna lose everything you've touched. So this gets really tricky. I could go through my own here, but that's such a tight squeeze. I think instead, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna try to catch that one out there and just hope and pray that I don't put the yellow into the center, uh, but we'll see what happens. Great thing about this, it's not a match, it's just for fun, so you can just go ahead and be wild. Really doesn't matter what happens because it's just a numerical score at the end. See, that was not what I wanted. I have to watch that back to see exactly what happened. And now is an opportunity to go for a 20, but I lost my shooter. So I have 20, 30, 45, 60. So record that, Mackenzie. 60 points for Jer. Wish me luck. Wish me fun. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Do you see that? The ricochet combined with the bump and run.
That was fortunate. Eighty, ninety-five, hundred and five, hundred and ten. That one I almost feel bad putting up. Now I'm going to turn it over again, just like our last challenge. We're going to have both Lydia and Mackenzie to take a run at this, so you can just see uh, maybe some different strategies that people take. Let's go. Not bad. That's not bad at all, not yeah. Not bad for a first crack. Same start. Close one. Pegasaurus. Pegasus. Nice. <clears throat> That's it. Fifteen to cancel. Thirty. 40, 50, 60. 65. That's a big improvement. 65. Big ones. Shooting black? Mm. You can't remember either. <laughs> no, no, she was shooting yellow. Okay. That makes more sense. So then that's gonna go there. So you have 35 points.
Nice. Beautiful shot. That was really good shooting. Oh yeah, I think I got it. Oh, you still got another shot, sorry. Wow. Okay. 60, 70, 80, 85. Woo! Nicely done. Very good. There it is. It's a really fun drill. Like I say, complete chaos. You're never really sure what's going to happen. There are sometimes you're going to get a freakishly high score. Sometimes it's going to be disastrous. But the point is, is it's going to set up really fun variations. And it just allows you to grab a better understanding of what happens with the physics of, uh, of coconut buttons bouncing off of rubber. We'd love to hear how this goes for you and love to hear about you challenging friends and family near and far on the near side and on the far side to this great drill.